Hey, this is Andreas from Pokerballs.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the now discontinued Sony Ericsson Live View smartwatch with Tasker via the new open source backend replacement app Open Live View. So as I'm explaining in my main article for this, um, in order to get Tasker to handle everything that happens on the watch, you need to go into Open Live View, Notifications, Filter Settings. Um, the menu, set filter mode to whitelist and then you use this plus button to add Tasker. Once you've done that only messages from Tasker can actually get through to the watch and like I'm explaining in the article there are three ways of actually doing this notification, um, flash messages or system toasts and uh, using an intent or other, um, actually using the run shell command to send an intent. So I'm going to show you um, what I've done to actually utilize this. Um, so first off, let's go into my to-do list uh, and add something to my shopping list. Um, doesn't matter what. Really, just add something to the shopping list. I'm going to go into Tasker and show you the task that actually handles my shopping list alert when I leave the house. So that should be in my to-do app project um, shopping alert. And basically what you can see down here is these two, number four and five. You have one say that says you have items in your shopping list and you have one flashed that is um, to do shopping and as you can see both of them have if conditions one have if live view equals zero and the other has if live view equals one um, and the variable live view is actually something I created by making a profile that uh, sets the variable to one when the live view is connected and to zero when it's not connected so right now it's uh, connected, so um, you can see this little indicator on the right, this one is green, this one is red. That means that when this runs it will check for items in my shopping list. Uh, if, the live is, if it finds something and the live is not connected, it will run this one, and if not, it will run that one. So let's just try that. And you can see I got a notification saying hello world, which was what I added to my shopping list. So that's just using the standard stock, uh, the standard uh, flash uh, action in Tasker to actually flash that on the screen, which is then picked up. Even though it's a toast, it's picked up as if it's a notification. Um, and then I can actually go in here and find it. So that's just using flash messages, which is really simple. Um, another thing I did was in, let's see. This task right here, uh, live view add note, this actually uses the other method, the run shell method, to actually send a, uh, a an intent that adds a note type notification. So what this does is, this first one is just something that has to do with how I trigger it, so we ignore that one. But I use two variable query actions which ask you for uh, an input. One of them is for the LVN title uh, variable. This is just something I specified myself. Uh, and the other one is for LVN content. And then it uses a run shell um, action with this command, which you can find in the main article. This I got from someone on XDA, actually the developer of this app. And you can see that uh, you can actually see the LVN title and LVN content uh, variables in this um, uh, in this command, and you can also see that the type is set to a 3, which means it sends a note. Uh, and basically that sends a note type notification to this, which adds itself to the note section. And then at the end I just have a flash message to basically just give a confirmation. So if I just go out of all of this, and open my secrets control panel here, and hit live view note, um, I can set something like, uh, oops, uh, there's a bug with this that I haven't fixed yet. Um, uh, 
basically I need to add a weight action between the two um, uh, between the two variable queries because sometimes it's too fast for its own good. Let's just try again. Well, help us close enough. And uh, yeah. So once I filled in both of those, I get a notification that says note added. And then if I just go into the note section, I can actually find my note. So that's just something I created to add simple um, notes to the live view. I actually used it earlier to uh, add a manual shopping list to it that I just use when I walked around the store. So yeah, there's some things you can do with this. And that basically used both the flash and the uh, run shell intent system to add essentially two notifications. One that uh, alerted you to a note being added and one that was the actual notes. So uh, that's it, just some simple things you can do with Open Live View and Live View on Android with Tasker. Uh, make sure to check out my full article on this and thank you for watching.